Hi there, I am Erman from Analyzeify team. Welcome to our Google Tag Manager data analytics video series for Shopify stores. This is the most important video of the series because in this video, we are going to create a data layer for your checkout and order completed pages. Using that data layer, in the next video, we will create your conversion tracking events. Let me tell you a little bit more about what a data layer is and how we will use it. Let's take the purchase process as an example. When a user makes a purchase from your store, we are going to create a data layer, let's call it purchase data layer, and it will include your order ID, revenue, currency code, and a few other important metrics. What will happen next, once this is ready, Google Tag Manager will be able to read it and pass that data to the other parties. For instance, Google Ads. Once you are creating the conversions for Google Ads, Google Ads will want to know the order ID and the revenue so that it can show in the reports how much revenue you have created through Google Ads so that it can also calculate your return of investment. In the next part of the video, I will provide you the code block to be inserted in your Shopify store so that it can generate this purchase data layer. And finally, all this data will be available for Google Tag Manager to read and process. Let's get started. In the previous videos, we have taken some essential steps. So if you haven't watched those, please start from there. Because firstly, you need to set up Google Tag Manager on your Shopify store, and then you need to know how tags and triggers works. So go to the second and third video if you still haven't seen those. Hello, welcome back to our Shopify GTM course. In the first two lessons, we have created some basic tags and triggers. Now it's time to go deeper and create something more complex. So in the beginning, we will set up a data layer for our checkout page and then create a custom trigger for purchase. That means from now on, we will be able to send purchase event to Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel or any other third party solution you wish using your revenue and all the other purchase events. Let's get started. So you should remember from our first lesson we had added this Google Tag Manager container code into our settings. I'll just quickly recap settings, checkout, then we have the order processing section and there we had added the GTM code in here. However, this GTM code is not enough to track our purchases. To track our purchases, we need to add a complex data layer code so that Google Tag Manager will be able to read our order details. Another thing, when a customer makes a purchase, this data layer code will send currency, value, shipping price, tax price, payment type, and transaction ID into the data layer. Through the data layer, we will read these values through the Google Tag Manager, and then we will be able to send all these relevant data into the third parties such as Google Ads and Facebook Pixels. We have specifically prepared this code for you. So this code will do everything which you need. Let me quickly walk you through the code. You will find the code in the YouTube description. You will find this code in YouTube description section. Just go there, copy and paste it back here. Make sure to paste it right under Google Tag Manager code. And the first line of the code is if first time accessed will allow this code only to trigger for the first time when user loads this page. You want this because you don't want to count double conversions when users reload the page or when users revisit the page. So that's why this code, this if first time accessed is important. The next parts of the code are just values to be pushed into your data layer. So once you add this, make sure to save it and then we will go to our Google Tag Manager. The event name, this will this is a custom event, and the event name is Analyzify Purchase. I just copy it and then go to Google Tag Manager. Choose triggers. We will create a new trigger. In the previous example, we had created a URL-based trigger. Now we will create an event-based trigger. Click New, 
Name it something which will make sense. I name it for now custom purchase event. And then it will ask you what type of event is this. Search custom. Make sure to choose this orange custom event. It will ask you the event name. Make sure to type the correct event name and then save it. So at the moment we only added the trigger, we didn't do anything else. But this will be enough for us to debug if the code we added is working or not. So let's do a test. We follow the same steps to make a test. Just copy your URL, go to Google Tag Manager, click Preview. In the Tag Assistant window that will be opened, paste your URL and click Start. As I mentioned before, unfortunately you have to do this almost every time you do a new change in Google Tag Manager. Maybe they will fix it soon, but at the moment it's not working well. So the Tag Assistant, make sure the Tag Assistant is connected now and it is connected. I'll just run a test purchase to see if our new custom data layer event is working. To make your test purchases easier, you can do the same I did. I just added a bank deposit option with empty details so that I can just run a test purchase with one click. When I click complete order, I'll go back to Tag Assistant and watch the changes happening. My new event should be triggered here. Let's see. Perfect, it's here. So as you can see, we have a new custom event here named Analyzify Purchase. And here, you should also see a new section which is with data layer push event analyzify purchase. If you click that, you will see all the values that we had added there as a variables. Page type purchase, event, currency, value, shipping, tax, payment type and the transaction ID. This is amazing. That means that our new data layer tag is working and it is also carrying all the details here. Now we want to send this total value to Facebook Pixel or Google Ads or Google Analytics event anywhere. You might have remembered from the previous sections that we call this variables. And in this specific example, it will be a data layer variable. So let's go ahead and create a data layer variable with the total value. I just copy, it's important to have the exact same name. Go back to Google Tag Manager, click Variables. And here there are built-in variables and then user-defined variables. We only created one variable which was UA tracking ID. Now I will create a DLV is usually that's what we use for data layer variables. So let's say total value. And then here you need to choose still the data layer variable option. And then it asks you the name. Paste what you had copied there. Save it. Now we have the first variable created. Let's create another variable with the same data. Let's create transaction ID variable, which is very important. The same methodology, DLL, transaction ID, data layer variable, and the name will be transaction ID. Save it. So you might have understood where I'm going with this. Now, what we will do is we will send these values to Google Ads, for instance, or Facebook Ads, wherever we want to track the sales with the revenue and the transaction ID. See you in the next videos.